Well, Cindy, um, I'm looking at this one that says, Oh, beautiful. Could you point out to me from concept to reality what you were trying to do here? Okay. Um, so this piece started with the ceramics, really. Um, and a lot of my work actually starts from an interest in, in like material. Um, so uh, I'm still pretty new at ceramics. So I'm like learning about the characteristics of it, what I can, how I can kind of like push and pull it, mm -hmm. what it wants to do, you know. So um, trying to learn how to like almost collaborate with with the material. But I'm also really I'm based in drawing, and you know one of the the fundamental things about drawing is that it's about creating an illusion. It exists on this two-dimensional surface. So I was really interested in bringing that into the work with clay. Um, mostly objects, you know? Um, so this is kind of my way of wrapping my head around, like, as a drawer who has traditionally worked with two-dimensional surfaces, like, how do I, I translate that into making objects, you know? So everything is about exploring the relationship between, like, planes and objects, and then also thinking about, you know, the history of ceramics, where it, it's a practical material, you know? It was used to create vessels and other you know, tools that have use value, um, and then also decorative value. Um, and so that's kind of where this idea of like uh, also exploring um, these, you know, beauty, you know, ornamentation, um, the relationship between that and something that is functional, but it's not, not functional at all, you know, because you can't actually put anything in these. It's made up totally of like flat surfaces that are oriented differently to, to give a three-dimensional form. So it's still just a representation of that ornamental functional object, you know? Now where so, would you where would you put something like this? In a in a home? It's like a coffee table section? What section? Um so that's what I as I'm building these objects, I'm also thinking about um, like domestic spaces. Set up our homes is it's like this aspirational thing you're, you're putting forward a sense of like um, an idea of, of how you want people to see you or understand you you know and it might not be a reflection of like who you actually are that's why it's kind of this like aspirational thing you know so part of that is like your collections and the way you display those collections so I'm, I'm playing around really with all of the pieces um, with sort of like display methods that also think about my parents collect a lot of things you know um, like a lot of things and they're they're very conscious about how they curate things um, it's it's kind of it's beautiful you know the way that they do that but it's definitely there's something very kind of like careful about it you know um, so I'm, I'm kind of playing around with that which is why I have like the display turntables you okay. know but everything is very low to the ground not something that you would necessarily do in a home, you know, like you want to elevate things, you want to put them in vitrines, stuff like that. So these are kind of just like, again, similar to what, I'm, what I was trying to do with the bases where you have this, um, you have the sort of like vocabulary of use, you know, but you, you've, you've taken that away, you know, it's kind of the same thing with the display methods. How much of your background you've put into this? Your ethnic um, background? Yeah. You know, that's that's actually a relatively new thing. I, I, I'm, I'm really hesitant to like stray into personal content, you know, okay. but doing the, especially like the, the ceramics, right. um, it really asks for it because it's such, like the process itself is so close to the body, you know, so like it naturally wants to pull personal content out of whoever is like, you know, working with it. Um, and then the fact that I'm also getting really into um, thinking about like furniture and interior and personal spaces, um, uh, it, it, it leads me to thinking about the spaces that I've inhabited, which are really my parents' spaces, you know, and um, I'm really just a visitor in those spaces, like I was growing up in them, but they were my parents' identity, you know, so, um, which I think is really interesting, so I'm, I'm kind of like thinking about all of that. Now, it's not for sale, I, I read. Yeah. 
So if someone wants a similar piece, yeah. what happens? I haven't thought that far. <laughs> <laughs> no one has ever asked to buy anything, so I, it's never it's never really entered my calculus. You yeah. know, yeah. I would have to deal with that if it came up. <laughs>